different ways of selling a collector car. You can put it online, you can sell it in your showroom, you can put ads in magazines, but there's really no substitute for showing a car at an event, letting people see it and drive it. There's nothing like that. And you did the whole uh, Alaska portion yeah. of it too? Yeah, we did Alaska, and then we drove across America back here. Great. So we've done a lot of miles. I guess. Terrific. This guy really looks like he's a legitimate buyer, so I'm going to call Stu and get a plan together as to exactly how much we need out of this car. Can you tell me the asking price of the Peterson, please? Okay. Thank you. Bye. Three, two, five. Thank you. Okay. Very nice to meet you. Nice you have, you have my you. card? Yes. Give me a call. Thank you. Brian. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Jeff. Bye. Bye. You know, on a day like this, I really love my job. I've been able to drive this car around the racetrack, meet some great people, and probably generated a sale. You know, selling a collector car can really be complicated sometimes. I had a client that sent me his Bentley to sell, then he changed his mind. He thought he wanted a Le Mans replica. So we got that car, we brought it in, he drove it, and then he looked at his original car. He says, you know, I can't part with my original car. Sell that Le Mans. So we put that on the market. We sold that car. In trade, we took a Peterson Bentley. Now we're selling the Peterson. It gets a little complex sometimes, but it all works out in the end. Next time on Chasing Classic Cars. Good morning. What is under there? So this is a 375mm. Oh, yeah. OK. How much I'm taking it home? How you doing? Uh, Good morning. Nice Nance, would you go out and see if you could find Nick and tell him to come over here with a flatbed, please? It's a little rougher than I thought. I think my expectations were a little high. <laughs>